Coffee, coffee, coffee. We are Tiny Travel 2, a family of four adults and two children who decided in early 2019 that we would sell everything to live our life traveling the world. In March of 2020, after visiting only four countries, we found our plans cut dramatically short. Now back in Australia, we are exploring our own backyard and taking you along for a set of new adventures. Welcome to the Gold Coast. Uh, we call it the Goldie, and what we're going to do is we're going to spend the day or a couple of days exploring some of the Gold Coast best coffee shops, and we'll let you guys in on a few secrets. We're officially on the road looking for the best coffee on the Gold Coast. We have stopped at Bam Bam Bakehouse, so that's going to be our first port of call. We know this place really well for all of its like uh, cruffins and, and pastries and that kind of thing. But basically, I just wanted to express that we had a lot of trouble putting together a list for this one. We just, the, the list is just huge, you know, like you've got coffee shops everywhere. To start with Bam Bam Bakehouse, you've got Cubby Cafe, sorry, Cubby Bakehouse, you've got Stairwell Cafe, All Time Coffee Co, Slippo Coffee, Elk Espresso, you have Paper Cup Cafe. Okay, so we can't come to a bakehouse and just drink coffee. We also have to make sure that we get something from the pastry case. And today I've spotted these amazing looking cinnamon cruffins. Now, Amy Lee loves a cinnamon scroll. So we're supposed to be in America right now. Hopefully this ticks the, the bucket for her. So for anyone who doesn't know what a cruffin is? It's a crumpet slash muffin? So croissant. It's croissant. It's croissant, croissant pastry. Croissant pastry, shaped kind of like a muffin. And this one is a cinnamon roll one, so you can see the pastry is very flaky. And then it's like a roll, so it has all the, you can see the bottom. So good, okay. And I get the first bite. I've already taken icing off the top. Oh. I don't, I'm not even gonna comment on the fact I got icing all over my face. Want some? Wow. Oh. There goes all the icing. <laughs> so I feel like we need to address the size of the coffee cup. Can you please explain to us why you, you have a small coffee cup, which you usually complain about? So I've been known to comment about the size of a coffee, and I mean, what do we got, an eight ounce maybe? I enjoy 16 ounces or bigger. The thing is that we're having a lot of coffee today, so I thought I might pace myself. Do I seem jittery?
Ah, a flat white. So, you know, classic or standard for Australian market. Aussie coffee. Well, Australian New Zealanders are the only people who will know what a flat white is. Essentially, anywhere else, they have no idea. I think because this is one of our first coffee shops of the day, he's decided to start without the sugar content, uh -huh. and then he'll go up to his dessert coffee. We'll see how I feel in a couple of coffees time, but this <laughs> is a good start. I don't drink coffee for myself, so I actually added in a sneaky stop at Goji Granola Bar Cafe. And what it is, is a place that you can come and they make a whole heap of food, but what we came for is their coconut fluff. I have never tried it before, but I've heard about it and we're gonna try it today. So this is the cocoa fluff. We got two flavours mixed together, half salted caramel and half chocolate. They call it billionaire slice. I think maybe they have different flavours extra every day. We got ours on top of granola, but you can get it just by itself. They do offer a whole heap of different types of toppings to go on top. And the best thing about it is if you're vegan, this is for you because this dish is entirely vegan. I've died and gone to heaven. That's so good. So we're down at Burley now. Uh, one of the ones that topped uh, several of the lists we came across was Sea Dog. So it's um, on James Street here. It's literally on the corner of um, like a little strip mall looking thing. It's so tiny. It, it's lucky to be two square meters. It's got a coffee machine. They do filtered coffee. So it also has a grinder and a filtered coffee maker, which was like probably the highlight for me because no one does filtered coffee in Australia. I love filtered coffee. I, I'm not a massive fan of espresso because of all the milk, but anyway, um, I met Brody and Alice, which was fantastic. They're a lovely, um, two lovely people. Alice was the one making the coffee and um, Brody was explaining how they change their filtered coffee regularly. The one that I got to try was an Ethiopian blend, which was um, an origin blend. So he focuses on using single origin coffees, which is fantastic. So, I mean, at the end of the day, his passion for the coffee comes through in the experience it's only a small place there's not a lot going on it's just about the coffee but um, between him and Alice it was a pleasure and you know what being in Burley you come down to the Esplanade here and you get to enjoy this amazing beach check out this place and the view of the Gold Coast to espresso commune cafe Crema Espresso, Paradox Coffee Roasters, Good Day Coffee, Breno Espresso, Skull and Bones Espresso, Dharma Coffee Bar, June Cafe.
So we're in Miami now at a little place called Hide and Seek. So it turns out, like I got to have a little chat with Rosie here, it turns out these guys have been here for seven years. And personally, I barely even knew this part of Miami actually existed. So um, we've just come in, I've grabbed myself a coffee and we'll see how it goes. I think thus far, one of the best. On top of all of those, we have Starbucks, Max Brenner's, Zarafas, your usual suspects. But I think I've proven my point. The list just goes on. So I got myself a chai latte. We're at our last stop of our day and it is Blackboard Coffee in Bar City Lakes. This is one of our favorite places to come because we come here often to have our morning breakfast, which you guys know we love. And this is one of the places on the Gold Coast that we have fallen in love with. We're going to finish our coffees and head home for the day. So I hope you loved the video. Remember, Hit that thumbs up, subscribe below, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs> I don't need coffee, I need sugar. <laughs> Do I have something on my face? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Katie and Robbo, the mother-in-law, enjoy a great big coffee and sometimes it doesn't even matter if it's bad. Well, that's speaking for me anyway. Um, I'd prefer a good coffee, but sometimes I'll just deal with what I can get because it's more of an addiction than it is an enjoyment. So, I mean, it only took me five minutes to get this to work, but finally, I've got the camera up and running. I, I don't know what is going on this morning, but I'm making a fail. I've got Sophie and Millie in the background waving, regardless of how many times I've said, stop waving. Okay. You look so impressed. Yeah, well, Katie came up with this great idea that we'd be able to tell how good the coffee is by having the one person that doesn't actually drink coffee try it. So, I think that's a horrible idea, but let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes it, guys. That's bad. No, don't like that one. Sorry, guys. For me, no coffee drinker, don't like it. But, maybe I just need to get a chai latte from somewhere. What are you doing, Pearl? Clicking. Clicking. Click. See, you go. It's okay, I'll just add a sound effect, yeah. okay? <laughs> what did you get, Phil? A bangle. A bangle! It's a bagel. Can you say that? Bagel? Bagel. And I had it in Canada. Yeah, oh, yep. this Honey is a Canadian thing. It to us. Cream cheese, bagels. It's all gone. After all this coffee, I'm feeling a bit jittery. Is the camera vibrating? <laughs> or is that just me? So, officially, I like maple in my coffee. Maple syrup. Woo.